Welcome to another video by Blueprint IoT. Topic of this video is what does Starlink for cellular devices means for IoT. So let's take it apart. Starlink is a satellite based internet service provided by SpaceX. So they use their Falcon 9 reusable rockets to send satellites to space where they form a so called mega constellation which is basically a pretty big network of satellites communicating with each other by laser beams and provide low latency internet to every point on earth. What you basically need to benefit from this service is a base unit which connects to the Starlink network and creates a Wi-Fi network which you can access with your devices like your phone, computer, laptop or tablet. Just to be precise, the Starlink network isn't completed to date and the antenna actually looks like this, size of a pizza box and a small Wi-Fi hotspot. The point is, without this base unit, you cannot receive the Starlink service. So while the antenna is perfectly fine to mount it on your camper van or homestead, it's quite challenging to fit it into your pocket since it's the size of a pizza box. But that's the point where the latest innovation of SpaceX kicks in and eliminates this bottleneck. So with Starlink for cellular devices, you are able to connect directly from your phone to the Starlink network without the need of a base station in between. But since your phone signal is quite weak, the Starlink network has to catch your weak signal and tries to provide you a minimum bandwidth, so no HD video streaming or similar. It has also to be said that there are modifications to the Starlink satellites needed to make this possible. We are basically talking about a quite big antenna to reach out to your phone. In course of this, the needed Starlink satellites will be sent to orbit with the upcoming Starship rocket, which will provide enough space to carry those new satellites. Elon Musk also mentioned a potential mini version of those new satellites in case Starship program is delayed. So common use case will be the Starlink network automatically jumping in as soon as the cellular network fails or simply isn't available in a specific area. By talking about cellular devices, we are not only talking about phones, and that's the part which wasn't highlighted at Elon Musk's presentation. We are also talking about smartwatches, USB hotspots, or any cellular module connected to anything like Raspberry Pis, PLCs, which are programmable logic controllers used in industrial applications, or similar devices like this. Since a phone signal is already quite weak, it has to be seen if a smartwatch will be really capable of connecting to the Starlink network or if you need cellular devices with a certain antenna amplification. But what's about IoT? So the Internet of Things consists of any kind of things like a fridge, robots or just a simple socket, as long as they are connected to the Internet. This connection is traditionally established by a Wi-Fi network Ethernet or cellular module. And that's where the new Starlink for cellular devices kicks in. As long as you connect your IoT device to a cellular module, you can connect to the Starlink network from now on. And this enables a whole new universe of applications. So let's look into some use cases. Imagine you're a food company and you just packed a container full of temperature sensitive goods in the middle of nowhere. So a train transports your container from the middle of nowhere to the next haver. From now on you can just mount a cellular module to your condition monitoring device and no matter if there is or is not a reception along your railway route, you will always know if the cooling of your goods was sufficient or not. After arriving at the haver, your container is loaded to a container ship and transported to the next big city where your customers are desperately waiting for your goods. So while being transported across the ocean, you can check the temperature inside your container at every given time. Of course you could argue that the ship itself is connected to the internet via any kind of existing satellite internet like the Iridium network operating for decades or even a Starlink connection via a base station. But in best case you know the position and the temperature of the ship but not independently of your container. And the best thing is no matter if your container is on a train, ocean liner or on a truck on its last mile, you can have one system working independently and seamlessly 
through all those modes of transport. Or imagine a weather station measuring wind speeds in remote areas. Of course there have been those off-grid weather stations using the Iridium network or Starlink with base unit. But all of this was quite expensive to build and operate. Since you can now use a small solar panel, any kind of cellular module and a wind meter, you can have so much more weather stations and so forth data points to provide more precise and more early weather forecasts and even more important weather warnings. Or imagine you're owning a windmill located in a windy area far off grid. You just mount a cellular module to your condition monitoring unit and receive this real-time data via the Starlink network. So you can receive turning speed, temperature and vibration so predictive maintenance becomes reality and you can send out a technician before the vibration can cause any serious damage. Another use case would be on a farm. Probably your farm itself is connected to the internet, but maybe not all of your fields are covered by a traditional cellular network. From now on, you could get some sensors into all of your fields, transmitting moisture data through the Starlink network to plan irrigation right where it's needed and save tons of water. Good for you, good for the planet. Also healthcare in remote areas can reach the next level. Paramedics can submit patient data like heart rate, oxygen level and so on via a cellular module mounted to their devices. So a doctor or specialist hundreds of kilometers away can consult them and authorize needed measures to be taken. I think you get it. Possibilities enabled by Starlink for cellular devices are endless. Not just because of the mobility of cellular devices, also because of the low cost point of those commonly available devices. So Starlink truly enables IoT on every inch of the world, no matter if you're off-grid or on-grid. So thank you Elon Musk and SpaceX for this incredible innovation boosting IoT to the moon.